Garbine Muguruza Blanco is a Spanish-Venezuelan professional tennis player who represents Spain in tennis competitions and turned professional in 2012. She has won three singles titles, most notably at the 2016 French Open where she beat World No. 1 Serena Williams in the final, by virtue of winning her first Grand Slam title in Paris. Muguruza became just the second player of either gender born in the 1990s to win a Grand Slam title after Patrick Kvitov first did so at the 2011 Wimbledon Championships. She achieved her career-high world ranking of no. 2 after the French Open. Equipped with powerful ground strokes and an aggressive game style, Muguruza first came into prominence by reaching the fourth round of the 2014 Australian Open, where she scored an upset over Caroline Wozniacki en route. She then defeated Serena Williams in the second round of the French Open that same year, beating the world no. 1 in straight sets en route to the quarterfinals. In 2015, she won the China Open and reached her first Grand Slam final at Wimbledon. She also qualified for her first WTA Finals in 2015, scoring a perfect winning record in the round-robin stage before falling out in the semi-finals to eventual champion Agnieszka Radwanska. Muguruza has been successful in doubles, winning five titles, finishing runner-up at the 2015 WTA Finals and reaching the 2014 French Open semi-finals. She achieved those results with her compatriot, Carla Sue Res Navarro. She is currently ranked number 7 in singles and number 30 in doubles. Personal Life Muguruza was born in Caracas, Venezuela, on October 8, 1993 to a Spanish Basque father, Jose Antonio Muguruza from Iber, Gipicoa. Career 2012-2013, Start of Career Muguruza was given a wild card at the 2012 Miami Open for her first WTA main draw appearance. At the 2013 Indian Wells Masters, Muguruza made it through two rounds of qualifying and then made her way to the fourth round of the main draw, where she fell to Angelique Kerber. She was then awarded a main draw wild card into the premier mandatory event in Miami for the second consecutive year, where she advanced to the fourth round, recording wins over Katerina Sinyakov, 23rd seed Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova and 9th seed Caroline Wozniacki en route before losing to the no. 5 seed, Lena. After Wimbledon in 2013, Muguruza underwent right ankle surgery and missed the rest of the season. She continued to train by hitting ground stroke sitting down. She ended the year as the world no. 63 in singles and world no. 153 in doubles. 2014, first WTA singles title and first Grand Slam quarterfinal. Muguruza began the 2014 season with a quarterfinal appearance at the Auckland Open, where she lost to former World No. 1 and eventual runner-up, Venus Williams. The following week, Muguruza qualified and eventually won her first WTA singles title at the Hobart International by defeating KL Razikabalov in the final in straight sets at the Australian Open. Muguruza recovered from a set down to defeat 10th seed Caroline Wozniacki in three sets she and Aranja Parasantonia also reached the second round of the doubles event where they lost in straight sets to the 8th seeds, Raquel Cops Jones and Abigail Spears. After a three-set defeat to Kimiko Date Crum in the first round of the Thailand Open, Muguruza reached her second singles final of the year at the 2014 Brazil Tennis Cup, where she lost in three sets to KL Razikopilov. Despite having led by a set in 5-2, Muguruza then lost in the second round of the Indian Wells Masters and Miami Open after receiving opening round buys, but did reach the quarterfinals of the latter event in doubles where she and her partner 
Carla Su, Rez Navarro lost in three sets to the eight seeds. Raquel Cops Jones and Abigail Spears. Muguruz and Carla Su, Rez Navarro reached the final of the Madrid Open, won the Stanford Classic and later qualified for the year-ending WTA Finals. Muguruza recovered from her first-round defeat at the 2014 Monterey Open by reaching the semi-finals of the Marrakech Grand Prix where she lost to the eventual champion, Maria Teresa Toro Flor in straight sets. However, she and Romino Prendi managed to win the doubles event by defeating Katarzyna Peter and Marina Zanevska in the final in three sets. At the Madrid Open, Muguruza lost in the second round to former U.S. Open champion, Samantha Stoser but reached the final of the doubles event with Carla Su. Res Navarra where they lost in straight sets to the second-seeded Italians, Sara Arani and Roberta Vinci. After a second-round defeat to former French Open champion Francesca Chavon at the Italian Open, Muguruza advanced to her first major quarterfinal at the French Open. Having handed the world no. One and defending champion Serena Williams her worst loss in a Grand Slam tournament, losing only four games in the second round. Muguruza also reached the semi-finals of the doubles event with Sue, Rez Navarro, where the pair lost in three sets to the top seeds and eventual champions, Peng Zhuai and Su Wei She. As a result of her strong performances at the event, Muguruza achieved career-high singles and doubles rankings of World No. 27 and World No. 36 respectively. Muguruza began her grass court season at the Rosmalen Grass Court Championships where she reached the quarterfinals before losing to American qualifier Coco Vandeweghe in straight sets after leading 5-2 in the opening set. Muguruza began the North American hard court season at the Stanford Classic. She defeated sixth seed and defending champion Dominika Sabulka in three sets. Muguruza began the Asian swing by competing at the Pan Pacific Open. She defeated Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. Muguruza's final event of the year was the season ending WTA Tournament of Champions in Sofia, Bulgaria. Despite going undefeated in the round-robin stage with wins over top seed, Ekaterina Makarova, Muguruza finished the year ranked at career-high rankings of World No. 21 in singles and World No. 16 in doubles. 2015, first Grand Slam final and first premier mandatory title. Muguruza's first event of the year was to be the Brisbane International, but she was forced to withdraw from the event due to an ankle injury. At the Australian Open, she progressed to the fourth round for the second consecutive year with wins over Marina Erikovic, Daniela Handikov, and Taimia Baksinski before falling to the eventual champion, Serena Williams in three sets. Muguruza won both of her singles rubbers in the 2015 Fed Cup World Group 2, defeating Irina Camelia Begu and World No. 3 Simona Halep but Spain lost the tie 3-2 after Muguruza and her compatriot, Annabel Medina Garrigues lost the deciding doubles rubber. At the Dubai Tennis Championships, Muguruza reached her first WTA Premier 5 semi-final in singles defeating qualifier Jarmila Guido, OV, 12th seed Elena Jankovic, 5th seed Agnieszka Radwanska and 13th seed and doubles partner Carla Su, Rez Navarro before falling to the 17th seed and eventual runner-up, Carolina Pli, KOV, in three sets. She also reached the final of the doubles with Su, Rez Navarro, the following week. Muguruza retired from her first-round match against Sue Rez Navarro at the Qatar Open while trailing 6-5 in the first set. In March, Muguruza lost to Ka, PLI, KOV, in the third round of the Indian Wells Masters after a second-round win over American wildcard, Irina Falcone. Despite this, she rose to a career-high singles ranking of World No. 19 after the event. A fortnight later, 
Muguruza reached the third round of the Miami Open after defeating qualifier Cecil Karatanchiba, but lost to the 11th seed Sarah Ayrani after winning the first set. Muguruza reached the second round of the three clay court events that she competed in leading into the French Open. She lost to second seed Simona Halep in Stuttgart. Kristina Ladenovic in Marrakech and the eventual finalists Svetlana Kuznetsova in Madrid. Muguruza and Sue Reznavaro also reached the doubles final of the latter for the second consecutive year, but the pair lost in three sets to Casey Delacqua and Yaroslava Shvadova. Despite failing to win back-to-back -back matches since February, Muguruza reached her second consecutive French Open quarterfinal defeating Angelique Kerber. Muguruza made a poor start to the grass court season, losing in the first round of the Birmingham Classic and the third round of the Eastbourne International after a first round bye. However, she and Sue Res Navarro won their first grass court doubles title in Birmingham, defeating Andrea HLAV, CKOV, and Lucy Heratic in straight sets in the final. At the Wimbledon Championships, Muguruza defeated 10th seed Kerber in the third round. After the tournament, Muguruza entered the top 10 for the first time, moving up to World No. 9 in the WTA rankings. During the U.S. Open Series, Muguruza did not enjoy much success, dropping her opening matches in Toronto and Cincinnati to qualifiers Lizia Serenko and Yaroslava. Shvadova respectively, at the U.S. Open. She recorded her first win at the tournament by defeating German Karina Withoft in the first round. However, she fell short to Johanna Kanta in the following round in three sets. The match was a total time of 3 hours and 23 minutes, the longest women's singles match in that tournament's history since the introduction of tiebreaker in 1970. Muguruza kicked off the Asian swing at the Pan Pacific Open where she successfully advanced to the last eight after defeating Barbara Strykov, before losing to eventual finalist Belinda Bensick in straight sets. At the Wuhan Open, Muguruza successfully cruised into her second straight quarterfinal at the event after dispatching Sloane Stevens and Anna Ivanovic. She then went on to defeat the likes of Anna Karolina Schmidlova and Kerber to reach the final, where she faced Venus Williams but was forced to retire in the second set with an ankle injury. Muguruza was able to crack the top five for the first time in her career after the tournament's conclusion. At the China Open, Muguruza breezed by Irina Falcone before going the distance against Marjana Lucic Baroni too advanced to the quarterfinals. With the win, Muguruza qualified for the WTA Finals for the first time. She will be the first Spaniard to compete at the year-end championships since Aranches NCHEZV Cario in 2001. She then beat Bethany Maddox Sands and Radwanska to advance to her maiden premier mandatory final. With her semi-final win over Radwanska, Muguruza cracked the top four rankings where she reached a career high of world no. 4. She went on to defeat Baksinski in straight sets to claim her first premier mandatory title and her biggest title of her career. Muguruza then traveled to Singapore for the WTA Finals, where she went undefeated in the round-robin play, beating Petra Kvitov, Angelique Kerber, and Lucy Saf. Rav, she then lost to eventual champion Agnieszka Radwanska in the semi-finals. Muguruza also competed in doubles in Singapore, where she and her compatriot Carla Su. Res Navarro reached the final. However, they lost to the number one seeds Martina Hingis and Sania Mirza. 2016, French Open champion, world number two, inconsistencies. Muguruzi started her year at Brisbane International, when she already had to retire in her first match of the tournament due to plantar fasciitis. At the Dubai Tennis Championships, Muguruzi suffered another early loss as she fell to eventual semi-finalist Alina Svitolina. 
Her next tournament was the Qatar Open, where she reached first quarterfinal of the year, defeating Nao Habino and Taimia Babos, but lost then to Andrea Petkovic in three sets. Next she played an Indian Wells Open, where she lost in her opening match against Christina McHale after receiving first round bye. At the Miami Open, she was close to be defeated in the opening match against Dominika Sibulkova but survived in the final set. She reached the fourth round but lost to the Indian Wells champion Victoria Azarenka in two tiebreakers. She kicked off the clay court season by participating the Fed Cup against Italy. She scored wins against Francesca Chavone and No. 7 Roberta Vinci to help Spain enter the World Group next year. She then played in Stuttgart Open. She reached her second quarterfinals of the season where she lost to Petra Kvitov. At the Madrid Open, she lost in the second round against Irina Camelia Begu. Despite serving for the match, she then went on to reach her first WTA semi-finals of the season in Rome. After defeating top 10 opponent Imiya Baksinski in quarterfinals, but lost to Madison Keys in straight sets. At the French Open, Muguruza unexpectedly turned her season around by going on to capture her first Grand Slam title. She lost the first set against Anna Karolina Shmidlova in her first round match but won in three sets. After that she easily reached her second Grand Slam final without losing a set in the next five matches, including wins over former champion Svetlana Kuznetsova in the fourth round, surprise quarterfinalist Shelby Rogers, and former runner-up Sam Stoser in the semi-finals. Muguruzi started off the grass season by playing in her home tournament the Mallorca Open, where she was the no. One seed. However, she suffered a first-round exit to former Wimbledon semi-finalist Kirsten Flipkins in straight sets, marking the third tournament of the year where she lost in her first match played in her second consecutive loss to Flipkins on grass. Muguruza returned to grass for Wimbledon as the second favorite with the chance to usurp the top ranking from Williams while being heralded as the leader of the next generation. Following Williams' recent slump in tournament finals, though Muguruza won her opening match against Camilla Georgi in a high-quality display, she was quickly upset by Janice Epilov. In the second round, unable to defend her finalist points from the previous year, Muguruza regressed to World No. 3 at the end of the tournament. At the Rio Olympic Games, Muguruza arrived as one of the favorite players to win in the women's singles tennis event. She defeated Andrea Mitu of Romania and Nao Hibino of Japan to progress to the third round. However, she was defeated comprehensively by the eventual gold medalist Monica Puig of Puerto Rico. Muguruza did not have much success during the U.S. Open series, either, at the U.S. Open. She suffered another second-round loss, this time to Anastasia Sevastova. She did not fare well during the Asian swing. With early-round losses at the Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo, the Wuhan Open in Wuhan, and the China Open in Beijing, the loss in Beijing was significant, because Muguruza was the defending champion, and she therefore dropped in ranking after the tournament. However, she still qualified for the WTA Finals. Muguruza was defeated in the round-robin stage, her only win coming from a three-set match against Svetlana Kuznetsova. The Spaniard ended the season ranked no. 7. 2017, first Australian Open quarterfinal. Muguruza started the season at the Brisbane International, being the no. 4 seed. She made a run to the quarterfinals after three set wins over Sam Stoser and Daria Kasatkina, and a straight sets win over Svetlana Kuznetsova. She then retired in the first set of her semi-final match against Elise Cornet due to injury. At the Australian Open, Muguruza beat Marina Erikovic, Samantha Crawford, Anastasia Sevastova and Sorana Sustia en route to her first-ever quarterfinal at the tournament. 
She then lost to Coco Vandeweghe in straight sets. Muguruza then played the Fed Cup quarterfinals, where she beat Barbara Strykova in three sets before losing to Karolina Pliskova. Spain ended up losing the tie 2-3. During the Gulf swing, she beat Kaglaba Yukake in Doha, before succumbing to Zhang Shuai in three sets. She then retired in her first match at Dubai against Katerina Bondarenko, due to injury. At Indian Wells, Muguruza advanced to the quarterfinals, beating Kirsten Flipkins, 17-year-old Kayla Day, and Alina Svitolina en route. She then lost to World No. 3 Karolina Pliskova in two tie breaks. Playing Style Muguruza's trademark are her flat, powerful ground strokes off of both wings that allow her to take time away from her opponents and dictate baseline rallies. She also possesses a powerful serve that enables her to get cheap points during service games and it is capable of reaching speeds of up to 113 miles per hour. Her ability to move and slide effectively on clay also leaves her noted for her clay court prowess. Having reached three consecutive quarterfinals at Roland Garros from 2014 to 2016, Muguruza herself has claimed that clay is endorsements. Muguruza was named the ambassador for Mazda Spain in June 2014. Career Statistics Grand Slam Tournament Finals Singles, 2 Grand Slam Performance Timelines W. 1 Tournament Reached F. Final SF Semifinal QF Quarterfinal Hash R. Rounds 4 3 2 1. Competed at A. Hour R. Round Robin Stage. Reached A. Q hash. Qualification round. A. Absent. Or. N H. Tournament not held. To avoid confusion and double counting. These charts are updated either at the conclusion of a tournament. Or when the player's participation in the tournament has ended. Singles. Doubles.